Jonathan Trago here, seconds out, joined by Anthony, million dollar crawler. Yeah. First of all, Anthony, uh, I joked about it on Twitter, but I think it's it's very kind that you, you've given him an immediate rematch for your world title. So, uh, yeah, are you obviously looking forward to the challenge? Yeah, of course. It's um, great to have this opportunity again, and even more so for it to be in Manchester. I respect um, Eddie Sky, that we said earlier, and the presser. And that is Perez's team for coming back over here. But um, it's something I can't wait for. Really, really excited for. Obviously, it's coming so close last time and not getting the decision which almost everyone else thought I deserved. Yeah. I just added fuel to the fire and it's something that I'm going to um, look forward to. Was there a point in the negotiations, because I know it wasn't announced immediately after, yeah. where you thought maybe it wasn't going to happen? Honestly, I always believed that. I always believed that um, I would get a rematch, strange enough. I mean, you have the slide doubts, but because of the controversy that surrounded it, um, I think a lot of people saw it as a bit of injustice. And once the WBI ordered it, which um, oh, they granted the rematch, sorry, I'm very, um, I was very confident that would reach agreement. Yeah. Um, they wouldn't have bothered me if I had to go to Colombia or go into Dali's back garden. I'm sure there would have been a few reds up for an away day over there. <laughs> but um, it's something like that. Listen, if, if there's any way what I won a world title, it's in Manchester and I've got that opportunity to um, to do it again on November the 21st. Yeah. And like you say, there was that, at one point it was looking like maybe there was murmurings that you would would have to yeah. go over there. A, a challenge that you would have relished anyway? Yeah, without doubt. Without doubt, it's... Um, I would have gone into the lines then, listen, he's doing it here now. He's coming in there, I don't know what kind of atmosphere it would have been, but... Um, I just wanted my next. My aim was just to get in the room with Dallas Perez and get that rematch, which I got. Yeah. And um, so I'm very thankful. And it's something. It's an opportunity I plan on grasping. And obviously, away from the press conference and the cameras, he's been here yeah. today. Uh, we all know that you're a very humble and sort of respectful bloke, anyway. And he seems to be a decent fellow yeah. as well. Have you thanked him away from the cameras yeah. and sort of? I listen, and you. Saw, I don't know if you was there at the end. He, he does. He seems a really cool guy. And I don't, I don't speak Spanish or anything like that. But at the end of it, he wished me good luck, yeah. and um, I did it back. You know, good luck back to him as well. I, I do. He does seem like a good guy, and um, there's no. I'm not that kind of fighter anyway. But there's no sort of animosity or anything like that, or any bad feelings or anything like that to him whatsoever. I, I, I like him as. Um, like I say I've not spent. I spent 36 minutes with him in a ring, but I've not spent like <laughs> time with him. So, so, but he does seem like a really cool guy. Yeah, and. <laughs> In terms of tactics and what have you, Ed, I was speaking to Eddie before. I mean, he's obviously he's the promoter, so he's going to sell the yeah. fight as well. But he reckons it's going to be that both of you will take more risks this time. How do you think the fight might play out differently? Yeah, there's, there's a good possibility. I mean, I um, we're both going to be better than the first fight as well. So um, maybe a few more exchanges, a few more exchanges, which will make good viewing for the fans. Like I say, I think the last fight was a decent fight to watch, fought at a great pace. But I do think this time will, will be a better fight for the fans to watch as well. And, and do you think there's an element of maybe that he underestimated you a little bit in that first fight? Will he train harder now? There's that possibility, but he had very good notice yeah. and um, is a is you know very seasoned professional and then going right back to an amateur is Olympian. So I don't think he'd be foolish enough to from where he's from as well to underestimate a challenger yeah. so I don't I don't believe that but um, I am expecting him improvements you've always got to expect that and um, I'm, it's nothing to say though but I'm expecting better from myself as well yeah it was a career best performance but there's still things I'd done wrong that night and um, there's still a lot of improvement and, and can you specify I mean I know we don't want to give yeah. away too much but when you've watched it back certain elements that you feel like you can improve upon yeah, there's certain bits of my movement um, certain in certain times where I didn't let my hands go. I say I don't want to give too much away, but it's times I didn't let my hands go. You know, my movement can improve definitely. Yeah. My feet. There's all. There's always room for improvement. Always room for improvement. And um, that's what I look to do. I just look to better myself all the time. And specifically, what would you be doing? Like, what drills would you do in training to kind of improve the the aspects of the movement? That's something like with Joe. We'll sit down and I mean we're, we're working at now. But like we're in like a conditioning part of it at the minute. Yeah. And um, on the strength side as well, we're starting at a much higher, higher level than what we was the time before. So that's good. So that's only going to build as well. But um, it'll be sort of so straight away. Certain exercises you might be doing more of them. You might be lifting more of them. You know, 
heavier weight or whatever, but yeah. I'm um, I'm just looking at just little things like yoga. I'm gonna get become a yoga a few times a week now and lots of been more supple in that supple in there. Yeah. Are you on the the Rio Ferdinand uh, yoga Vikram. plan? I'm on a Vikram yoga and um, I've not been for a few weeks but we do you know camp started. I mean I've been checking over but I'm gonna make sure I'm there. Yeah. Um a lot I think it's it's very important. And just a couple more quick ones. Um in terms of your like outlook and stuff, everyone knows that you're you're pretty happy go lucky. Like always, keep a positive mindset, and that was that was evidence best, obviously after the the incident at the yeah, back end of last year. This this kind of incident whereby you, you well effectively robbed in inverted commas for a fight. I mean, comparatively, it's nothing compared to what you had to go through before, is it? So it's not really dented your confidence no, in that regard. It's just just like I said, then all that's done is drove me on even more. It makes me more determined. It makes me um, try and run that little bit faster, makes me try and train that little bit harder. That's all that's done. It's it's very different there. I was worried about whether I'd ever fight again, never mind whether I'd fight for a world title. So yeah. it's very different. And in terms of the arena, I think there was about, what was it, about 11 or 12 in there last time. Are you reckoning the yeah, same, maybe even I'm, more this time? Yeah, I'm just, I, if, I, if I get a reception or anything like last time, I'm a very lucky man. Yeah. It, was, um, it was some of that. That kind of reception, very few people get to um, experience. But I was one of the lucky ones, so if I get that twice, then I'm a very lucky man. And um, we've talked about it before in terms of your rising profile and and how that reflects in when you're at Old Trafford. Yeah. You get more and more reds coming up to you. Is that process even now continuing to grow even more when you're at away games and stuff? Yes, yeah, certainly. As I was in Bruges um, a few weeks back, and I try and get to watch. Uh, that's you know I just try and get there as much as I can. It's something I love doing. That's one of very few things I get to do away from boxing. I'll try and if I'm not with boxing, then my family. Um, it's to go and watch the Reds. So it, it's just really nice that that's growing and growing. It's um, but it's it, so it's and it's like if you think on the on the night of the arena, you could hear a lot of the United songs going and stuff. But no, it's, it's brilliant of them. It really is, and the club treats me well. If I was on the pitch and stuff at half time and. Hopefully they'll do the same again, but no, it's great to have the support of, of them and the fellow Reds as well. What about Sir Alex? You reckon he might get a little phone call again before the rematch? I don't know if I'll be that lucky, but um, it's it's um, very, like you say, stuff like that. It's something you dream about. It's something that he's, not many Red, you know, Manchester United fans can say they got to speak to Sir Alex. I'm one of the lucky ones. And did you hear, by the way, yesterday, apparently they were singing the... Yeah, I hear. You heard about that? I, some of my mates, yeah, some of my mates who actually went to the game. I, I, I always go, like you say, we've been in camp, Southampton is a difficult way to go to. And um, they said, your song, your song's been nicked. So, <laughs> but listen, it's not a bad man to lose it to, is it? Not, it's not the way he's playing anyway. Not at all. Anthony, pleasure as always. Best of luck in so, training camp. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Lovely.